Image-based rendering in the gradient domain. Image-based rendering can synthesize photorealistic in-between views for a set of input images with estimated depth maps. Unfortunately, standard image-based rendering methods break down with scenes that contain both reflected and transmitted light, since depth maps cannot represent two different motions. This results in ghosting artifacts. Singa et al. recently presented an approach that decomposes the input images into transmitted and reflected components. At runtime, their renderer recomposes the layers using additive blending. Unfortunately, this method is not always able to cleanly separate the light components, which can lead to ringing artifacts. We present a new image-based rendering algorithm that improves upon previous solutions. It is particularly well suited for scenes with reflections. The key contribution of our work is in treating the rendering problem in the gradient domain. Instead of reprojecting pixels in the input image, we reproject their gradients and obtain the final image through integration. Traditional image domain IBR has to overcome several challenges. First of all, in poorly textured areas of the input, it is difficult to recover the scene depth reliably. The resulting uncertainty requires strong regularization that can lead to artifacts. Another problem is that the depth maps can hold only a single depth per pixel. Therefore, they cannot represent scenes with reflections or other effects where multiple light sources combine in a pixel. In the gradient domain, these problems are alleviated. Poorly textured areas contain no strong gradients, so the quality of their recovered depth does not strongly affect the rendering. Reflections can be easily separated in the gradient domain because gradients are sparse. Our integrated results contain fewer artifacts from poorly textured areas and reflections. Reprojecting the gradients using the estimated depth map is straightforward. However, because resulting gradient fields are generally not fully integrable, we need to recover the final image by solving a Poisson problem. Unfortunately, the solution to this problem is only defined up to an additive offset. Therefore, we require an approximate solution or data term to weakly bias the solution. We obtain this approximate solution using a simple image domain method. Consider for now the horizontal and vertical gradients of a single pixel. Suppose the gradients move to this location in the novel view. We construct the approximate solution by shifting the gradients from their initial position to the new position while updating the underlying image. We implemented this operation in a simple vertex shader. While this approximate solution contains artifacts, it is sufficient for biasing a Poisson solution to a good and stable solution. Our rendering method degrades gracefully when sparsifying the input cameras and rendering from wide baselines. Here, synthesize novel views using only every second, fourth, eighth, and 16th input view. We can synthesize arbitrary novel views, for example, above and below the plane of the input cameras. Our system can optionally handle occlusions, although in practice it is often not necessary if the input images are sufficiently dense. These results here show extrapolations from a single image and depth map. To compute whether a gradient becomes occluded or not, we project it into the neighboring views and check if it is still visible. The resulting visibility maps are regularized using a Markov random field. In the paper, we explain how to compute the visible range for every occluded gradient. Once a gradient falls outside its visible range, it is clipped in the gradient terms. In the data term, its location is clamped to the visible range. Let's look at some results now.